This is the hydraulic powered flatbed mounted truck bale mover that I built after not being happy with what I could find on the market commercially. I'll show you. It's hard to see, but it attaches around the gooseneck ball with two three quarter inch hitch pins. And I designed it with 10 inches of drop so that the spears slide into the bottom half of the bale. But as it raises, it actually ro it ro uh, rotates ni almost 90 degrees to put the, bale, the weight of the bale up over the bed instead of hanging off the back. That also allows you to pull a bumper hitch trailer with the bale mover on. I've got a 24 inch stroke cylinder. As you can see, I had to modify my design to get the geometry to work. I think going to an eight inch drop would have eliminated that. I have a group 24 battery mounted on it to help with the amp load. Two gauge cab battery cables come up to a two pin Pollock connector that's rated for 200 amps. They then go up to the to the truck battery. I have a four pin trailer connector for the controller cable. Here is the controller. I'll show you. How far it rotates. I have this angle iron welded on there just to protect the cylinder and the fittings. Um, the frame is three by six inch tubing. The drops are three by four inch. This is three by four inch. The forged spears are on 30 inch centers. These plates and these mounts are half by four inch plate. One inch pins. Overall, it is built heavier than what I could find commercially. Now I will back up to a bale and a bale up. There is a bale loaded on it that is a five by six foot bale so you can see it's at least partly up over the truck it is less than four feet behind the back of the truck to where you would, it would need to be flagged and eh, the sun's in the wrong direction but you can't see the tail lights and brake lights from behind with the bale on